Good decisions come from good information. Managerial accounting allows us to present information in a variety of ways. We've looked at the difference between a traditional income statement and a contribution format income statement. The contribution format emphasizes the difference between variable and fixed costs. We can present this information in two other ways, using absorption costing or variable costing. The difference between these two is in the treatment of fixed factory overhead. With absorption costing, all the manufacturing costs are included as product costs. So direct materials, direct labor, and all of the factory overhead are part of product costs. These are included in inventory and in cost of goods sold. With variable costing, all the variable manufacturing costs are included as product costs. So direct materials, direct labor, and variable factory overhead are part of product costs and included in inventory and cost of goods sold. But fixed factory overhead is not included as part of product costs. It is not included in inventory or cost of goods sold. It is treated instead like a period cost and all of the fixed factory overhead is expensed. Let's look at an example. Assume the following information for your company. How much would one unit cost if we used absorption costing? Well, we would include $18 of direct materials, $12 of direct labor, and $7 of variable factory overhead. We would also include fixed factory overhead. However, we won't include all of it since we have not sold all the units we made. We take this fixed cost and turn it into a per unit cost of $17.50. We add all these up and get a total unit product cost of $54.50. How much would one unit cost if we used variable costing? Remember, the difference between the two costing methods is fixed factory overhead. With variable costing, fixed factory overhead is not included in product cost. The cost of one unit would include $18 of direct materials, $12 of direct labor, and $7 of variable factory overhead for a total unit product cost of $37. The fixed factory overhead is treated as a period cost. All of it is expensed this period. The difference between absorption costing and variable costing is the fixed factory overhead. You will get different net operating income figures under each method if the number of units you produced during a period is different than the number of units sold. Under absorption costing, the fixed factory overhead is split between units that are sold, cost of goods sold on the income statement, and units that are still in inventory work in process and finished goods on the balance sheet. The fixed factory overhead is deducted on the income statement in the period in which the units are sold. Under variable costing, all of the fixed factory overhead is expensed on the income statement when the items are made. Okay, we got everything fixed now. 